Hey guys, today I'm showing you something that I made with the LEGO Mindstorms NXT. It's a really cool kit. It's pretty much a robot making kit. And so I'm going to show you something that I made using all the parts that just come in the kit. Plus the sumo eyes which you can get from mindsensors.com. So I'll go ahead and play it. So, on the screen right now, it's showing you the distance to the next obstacle. I don't know if you can see that or not. But sensing that with this sensor right there. And then it's just giving you uh, like a number like 100, no, 12 inches. And I just divided it by 12 and displayed the number. So, and then that gave you how many feet there are to the next obstacle. So the sumo eyes in the front that I showed you are the things that actually sense what's in front of it and which way to turn. One second, there's a twist tie stuck in it. It's not very good in narrow areas though, so I'm just going to take that out here because that goes to nowhere. Oh. Right in the sensor's blind spot. And that's not tall enough. So it does have some limitations. It's pretty much just based on where you place the sensor. But it's a really cool kit because I can map out the room that's driving in. I can make a four wheel drive. This is just like a go kart. It steers with the front two wheels and drives with the back two wheels. So now I'm on my computer. You'll notice I changed my desktop background and this is the program that it uses. It's a simple drag and drop interface. So let's start from the top. So this is just creating text on the screen. It makes it say distance to. Oh wait, I need to undo that. Well, line 3, x axis 1. So it's just going to say distance to on the screen right there and then the next line will say next object colon and then the next thing is the next line feet away you'll notice there's no number there so in this loop that's where it gives it the number it takes the sensor makes it port 2 inches this is pretty much detect everywhere in its capability and then it puts it into a division so distance into the A divided by B I set B to be 12 so that it does feet and then the output number the result goes into this which this is just putting a number into text into a string if anyone knows what that means a string is pretty much text that can be displayed you'll find that in pretty much any programming language that's actual programming and then it waits half of a second and displays the results right before the feet away if you'll look just right down here so 
that's a number, a random number, feet away. Number feet away. So it actually displays feet away before it displays the number, but it's only half a second of a difference that it's not even really noticeable unless you're looking for it. And that's only, it's only not there right when you start the program. So let's move on to the next part right here. Now let's do this part first. This is the color lamp. If anyone noticed that there were colors red, green, and blue flashing, just sequencing. This means show red, wait um, 0.01 seconds, then show green, wait 0.01 seconds, and then show blue, wait 0.01 seconds, and then start the loop again. That's pretty much all this part is. Now for the movement. So because the front axle, the front two wheels, are only for steering and they don't have any real um, driving ability, they just steer it with one single motor. That's the A motor. We go port A, drive forward, 0.3 seconds at power 100. This pretty much tells it to turn the wheels to the right and then turn them all the way to the right and this says turn them 90 degrees backwards this will get them to go straight no matter where on the where in the degrees whatever it is so if it's turned all the way to the left then if you just try and turn it to the left more 90 degrees it won't go anywhere and it'll just turn left when you start it off but because of this this part right here turn it right all the way for three seconds it'll turn it right all the way and then this will kick in and turn it 90 degrees so that it's straight and then it breaks afterwards so that there's complete resistance in that motor and so now there's a loop yes another loop loops are very crucial in the NXT programming so this is for the sumo eyes I'll change this to a flat view never mind I won't change this to a flat view Oh, I guess I will. Okay. So for this part, if it's saying that the sensor will look for long range in port 1, compare zone front. If it's in the front zone, then go up here. It'll now check if it's in the right if it is in the right then it will do this and check if it's on the left if it is on the left then this will turn it turn the front axle the front two wheels to steer right and then the B is the back wheels which are supposed to make it move they're the actual motor that um, propels not propels um, that actually makes the vehicle move forward so it's just saying turn it right and go forward and then after that happens we just um, do the same thing right here in the beginning and make the wheels go straight again but back to the switch if it's not on the left then it's going to steer the axle, the front axle left. So it's going backwards 100%, which means left. And then B goes forward. And then because the, this axle is all the way back, then all you have to do is change this 
forward 90 degrees and it gets you to the same point as forward, just straight forward. So back to this switch, it's comparing zone right. If it's not on the right, then this is going to turn the front axle left. No, sorry, right. It's going to turn it right. And then B is going to go forward. So the vehicle will move to the right. And then A will straighten up. So it'll be going straight again. So now back to this switch. It all seems complicated, but this is one of the more advanced programs I've ever made. I just want to show off the sumo eyes because I just learned how to use them yesterday. So, that's pretty much it for the program. I probably could place a bumper on the front of my robot so that if it's bumped, it means that it hit it. So it would back up and then just do a 180 degree turn. I could do something like that because there's a pressure sensor. So that would prevent it from ever getting stuck on anything really. And there's just a whole bunch of stuff that you could do. There are actually real life uses for this. Like I saw a printer. Like the you placed a pen in a claw that you make and then it actually prints words or draws pictures so you can look more stuff up about this and I'm going to now show you the robot tools so I'm going to go to tools remote control I'm going to configure this so the action is moving forward and the cancel and these controls right here these arrows are for moving the front axles so now I'll change to my video camera compared to my screen capture and show you what that looks like after I turn this speed down otherwise it will turn outrageously fast. Okay, I'm now switching to my video camera. Okay, hey guys. Um this is the remote control. So, if I press the arrow keys, oh, I need to speed that up just a little bit. If I press the arrow keys, then it does that. If I press the action button, it just goes straight forward. Now, I reconfigured it so that the action button goes backwards. It's very tedious, but you can buy remote controls just as extras from mindsensors.com or from a whole bunch of other companies that do NXT. Mindstorm stuff. So, there's just a whole bunch of stuff that you can do with this. And if you want to begin PIC robotics or any robot programming, then I would suggest that you buy one of these. Because A, they're very fun, and B, with the drag and drop interface on the programming thing, the LEGO Mindstorms NXT software it gives you an idea of wh how you would go about doing the things that you want to do and what would be required to be able to do that so that's pretty much all of my video thank you for watching please subscribe please like this video if you did and I will see you next time in my next video. See you later.